Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So the month of August is here, and what should you do if you are a particular ascendant? How can you use this time? Because it's also the holy month of Savan, as per Vedic tradition. So wish you all the best for everybody who is planning to do a lot of austerities this month of Savan. Excellent time. Congratulations and take it out. All right. So now. The primary transits for this month will be in the sign of Cancer and Leo. So therefore, this, these two signs become very important. So as per your ascendant, we shall discuss what should you be focusing on. All right. So first, Aries ascendants. So this transit is in your fourth house and your fifth house. So that means you should focus primarily on your home. If your dashas are indicating you will buy a new home, maybe yes. Or maybe a new vehicle, maybe yes. And also, uh, after 15th, as you know, sun will move into the sign of Leo. So therefore, you can also focus on creative work. So 4th and 5th are very internal houses. In fact, they represent our inner psyche, our thought process. So therefore, this is not the time necessarily to do big external changes. But to check within yourself what do you stand for what do you represent what is inspiring to you what is that which makes you happy so if you feel you are a bit lost in life then this is the month for you where you can set the bar high for yourself so which means you can take up some targets you know like daily targets weekly targets monthly targets if you do this then you will be very much inspired and don't forget Saturn will also aspect Leo from the sign of Aquarius which is your fifth house so if you can use this time to improve yourself your own habits and your own lifestyle then this will be a brilliant period all right so make the best use of this period and I'm sure you will do very good all right so now we go to Taurus Taurus ascendant so for Taurus this is your third house and your fourth house, right? So third house, fourth house, again, very internal houses. Uh, but the third house is also giving out what you have. So this is a period where you can try to gain knowledge and share knowledge. So you can do both, okay? So if you are if you are planning to, you know, enroll in some course or take up some online training or give some online training or webinar or something like that, then this is the best period, perfect thumbs up period for you. Go ahead and do it. But in midst of giving knowledge for others, don't forget to uh, <laughs> also take knowledge. The third house is giving and fourth house is taking, okay? So the more you give, the more you should take. And the more you take, the more you should give. All right. So have this mantra in your mind. Take short distance trips and go to different places if required. And have a nice time. Focus on your family. Maybe you could buy a house or a car if your dasha is permitting during this month. Or nonetheless, uh, you should focus on improving yourself. All right. Because these, uh, the fourth house is a very internal house which will manifest for you from around 15th of this month. All right. So take care, Taurus. So now we go to Gemini. So for Gemini, this is in your second house and in your third house. Very, very, very interesting. And the second house shows your family. So you should focus on your family even the more because Sana is in the sign of cancer. So this is a period where you should see uh, how you can improve relationships with your family members or maybe with your relatives, your in-laws. Everybody could come in that. The second house is like the large umbrella. And it could also be a time for, you know, getting a new job or a promotion if your dashas are agreeing. And then, of course, sun will move into your third house, the uh, <clears throat> 15th and then in a Mercury Venus. These energies will also be there in your third house. So, this is a very interesting house because uh, the third house will show your communication abilities, short distance travel. So, it could be that you are, uh, what you so initial 15 days you are thinking of doing something in your profession and then the rest 15 days you plan to take up some courses or give some interviews you know, and get a new job. That could also be possible. Or you could also take trips uh, for vacation with your family members. Okay, This is also possible. So in short, this is a time to focus on your family and revamp your skills and also keep a check on your wealth. All right. 
all the best Gemini. Now we go to Cancer. So for Cancer, this transit is in your first house and in your second house. These two houses will be the most prominent. So therefore, the first house is the house of the self. It's the house which tells you how other people think of you. <laughs> and what do you think of yourself? And the second house, of course, is the house which tells you what you value in life. What is your net worth? Your family members. Okay, so therefore, now it is the time to, to have a deep look into your value systems. So now, it is a time where you check who you are. What do you think of yourself? Not so much about how others perceive you, but primarily about who you think of your, who you think you are, okay? Do you, uh, do you keep matching the targets that you set for yourself or you perpetually miss them? So, now, for you, it is very important that you have some, you know, daily, monthly, weekly targets. And when you fulfill those targets, you will be able to, uh, you will be able to feel good, uh, better about yourselves. Okay, so therefore, if you feel you are kind of behind in life, then this is the month for you. This is the month where you should try and, you know, take the control back from your mind. <laughs> and then, of course, the second house is also going to be very prominent for you. Now, the second house is the house of family, as I said, and also your self-worth, your self-esteem. Okay, so if you, if you do what you said and if you uh, try your best only then you can get self-esteem okay otherwise you will have low self-esteem suppose you say okay i'll go to the gym from you know uh, 10th of august every day i go to the gym and you don't go or you go one or two days and you leave it then yeah well, how do you feel about yourself not the best right so you lose respect for yourself so try your best do your best and give 100 percent. that is the mantra cancer right for the best focus on yourself your health and your internal self-esteem could be your family members also. And if there are some people in your circle who are trying to pull you down and, you know, giving you bad vibes, then please maintain distance from them. That's important. All right. Now, we go to Leo Lagna. So, Leo Lagna, what is going on? This transit, uh, primarily for this month, will be in your 12th house, then it will come to your first house. All right. So, what is 12th house? So, in the first 15 days of the month, you may be feeling that, you know, you are a bit lost in life. You are you are kind of trying to get everything together, but it's not happening. Okay, so, if you feel like this, then don't worry. Uh, because very soon, this is going to change. So, first 15 days, you may feel you are out of place. And then, after 15 days, you may feel, okay, now you are coming to place. Okay. So, therefore, it's a very important uh, time for you to kind of reflect on what you did in the past, especially in the month of July, and uh, then trying to see what are something, what are certain things which you can start again, what are some things you can start from the scratch, okay, or maybe even important, importantly, uh, you can, uh, what are things which you can complete? That's more important because many times we keep starting new things, and you know, yeah, I mean, we, we just don't complete them, right? So. Leo, ask yourself if you have had any new, any old projects which you are doing but you left it because of disappointment, then this is the time that you complete them, okay? And once you complete them, you also try to figure out why were you doing certain things, you know, you kind of ask yourself why, 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 why I am doing this, what I am doing, what will I get out of this? Not just monetarily, you know, physically, financially, uh, but Will I be satisfied if I get this? Was it worth doing this? Okay. So these are things which you should contemplate. You wish you all the best. Now, Virgo Lagna. Very interesting transit. 11th house will be prominent. And then your 12th house. Okay. So this is a very interesting case where you are focused on success, earning money, name, fame, power, position, authority, and you get it also. But then... Later on, you are wondering, what should I do with this wealth, okay? So, depending on your dashas, it will be decided how much wealth you get, but there's a danger here. You might also end up losing wealth, okay, in the later half of this month. So, 
if you end up earning a lot of money or you earn a lot of success and you know you get all the praise then make sure you also work properly to maintain it okay so for example if you are if you become wealthy suddenly or you get some new promotion immediately don't go and take a bigger loan and you know don't go and take a bigger house or a bigger car okay uh, so therefore because you may regret later on so therefore try to try to conserve whatever you have and try to invest your money into you know uh, uh, proper assets uh, which can actually grow with time you know like gold real estate you know uh, stable uh, stock market uh, option stocks actually so uh, you, you you can multiply your money and you can also spend you will spend some money which is uh, perfectly fine nothing wrong with it but uh, you need to understand that you cannot perpetually keep going on you know spending any extra bonus that you get that will not help you okay so try to uh, build your life with the money that you get and not spend it unnecessarily okay and on the flip side uh, because uh, i mean on the good side if uh, your dasha is indicating you will be married then yes 11th house marriage can happen and yeah children can happen anything any good thing in your life can happen with the 11th house depending on what your dasha is telling all right now we go to libra so libra what is going on 10th house 11th house so this is the power packed month for you this is the month which you should not lose <laughs> so this is the month where you should put all your energy into profession you know your career your wealth building your work your work ethics your your vision your purpose so this is the this is probably the best month for you libra for this year so therefore please utilize this period if you want a new job then apply for it new if you want a promotion apply for it if you want a job in a big company apply for it you want to start your own business thumbs up you want to travel thumbs up for good purposes <laughs> you want to do networking with people 11th house thumbs up go and send that mail in instagram or linkedin or whatever that person will respond to you don't worry and wish you all the best nothing much to say it's overall time for success so all the best libra make the best use of august 2024 don't lose any single minute All right if you lose it you will regret it later all right all the best libra and now scorpio another fantastic time just like libra for 10th and 11th for you this is in your 9th and 10th brilliant time this is a time to put all your energies into research and in your profession so when i say research i don't mean that you start doing some phd but it's a time to go down deep and see what is there in your life so it's going deep with everything so with your career with your health relationships you need to see what are you doing in life why are you doing it what is the purpose what is the vision behind doing certain things that you are doing and it's not just a time to see the vision it is also a time to act on it okay so it's a great time thumbs up but you need to understand this is a month where you have to try to find the larger purpose behind things so for example if you are doing some job which you don't like maybe you are doing it for the timing because you don't have money which is perfectly fine but you need to understand that uh, this is also uh, it may not work in the long run okay so in the short term it's okay you may be doing something just to uh, feed your belly but in the long run you need to see if you can start your own business or you know be self employed or you know yeah do so have some side hustle you know second income or something like that so now is the time where you will explore different opportunities and you will act on it all right so scorpio thumbs up wish you all the best now sagittarius this transit is in your 8th house oof but also in the 9th house <laughs> so this is the time for you to go into research and learning so this this month is may not may not be the best month for you to do big things externally you might lose money so be careful but this is certainly the best month for you in this year to go and understand yourself and to be enlightened 
So see, eighth house is darkness, ninth house is light. Okay. So sometimes what happens is we need some darkness to see the light. Okay. Which means you have to go and explore your life and see what are you doing, why are you doing. And the more you do this, you will kind of uh, feel the need for a guru or a mentor. So for you, the most important thing is if you feel that you are confused and you don't know what to do in life, where to go and you know what, what the hell is going on in your life, then you need to go and take help of a mentor, a guru or an astrologer or anybody who can actually guide you. It could be some elder in your family also. All right. So therefore, this is the best time where you figure out why are you doing certain things and what do you expect to get out of it. But at the same time, it's not a time to speculate beyond a certain limit. Okay, so for example, if you are completely clueless about something and you have tried it for the last weeks and you are not able to figure out, then chances are that you may, may take a wrong decision. Okay, so therefore, yeah, try your best uh, and do the rest. But if required, take guidance and learn. Okay, learn from experienced personalities. Okay, that is the best thing you can do. All right, wish you all the best. Now we go to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is 7th house, 8th house. Two houses are prominent for you this time. So, 7th house is the house of marriage. It's also the house of name fame. It is the Bhavad Bhavam of the 10th, which is, you know, 10th from the 10th. So, maybe it's time for you to get some name fame publicly. Could be. Or, it's a time where, you know, you uh, focus on your married life. You focus on interacting with other people. So, August will be the month because the 8th house is also the 2nd from the 7th. So, the 8th house shows things that you gain from other people. So, it could be that if you do proper networking and if you work hard, you know, you, you some other people can give you a shout out or, you know, they can tag you or whatever. I mean, they can give you some name thing. So, Capricorn. This is a time where you should focus on building relationships. So, August is the perfect time to, you know, start a new job or a new uh, business or do some collaborations, basically. So, uh, do that, uh, but also be very careful because work is retrograde. So, be careful before, you know, you sign that contract and, yeah, try to do it before 5th, if possible. Uh, 5th to 28th, Mercury will be retrograde. So, yeah, because 8th house, you know, can give you some challenges. So don't worry, uh, focus on yourself and also other people or rather, you know, collaborating with others and you will you will become famous Capricorn. All the best. Now, for Aquarius, this is a very interesting transit. You know, 6th and 7th will be very prominent. Now, this, this is like a conjunction of two opposite houses, right? The 7th house is marriage, 6th house represents uh, separation in marriage. So, Initially, what would happen that there is a lot of, you know, work stress which you could go through and then you realize, no, 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 I should also focus on my married life, okay? So, this could be the situation if you are married, but suppose if you are not married, then uh, there could be a situation where you are being too much obsessed with your own ideals and your own uh, mindset and then uh, later on, uh, towards the middle of the month, you realize, oh, no, it will not work like this. I will also have to collaborate with others. I'll have to adjust. I'll also have to bend. I'll have to compromise. All right. So therefore, this is a time where you should fully focus on yourself, you know, sixth house, your own habits, your weakness, your health and all this. But towards the later part, you will realize you cannot do everything alone. You need other people. You need their help to do. All right. So therefore, if you can, yeah, if you can, uh, uh, if you are doing things yourself, that's great. Continue to do that. Focus on the basics and the fundamentals. And then eventually you will be able to collaborate with others also. All right. Wish you all the best, Aquarius. And now, last but not the least, always Pisces. This transit is in your fifth house and primarily in your sixth house. Uh, these two houses will be active uh, during this month of August. So the best time for you to figure out your hobbies, your interests, your likes and dislikes also and put them put them into practice. So the fifth house shows things that you do because 
of with a, without any compulsion you do out of your own sweet free will and the sixth house shows things which you do because somebody has forced you all right so now this is a mixture of two uh, two houses which are quite contradictory in nature yet they have similarities now the contradictory part is you may want to do something but you may be forced to do something which you don't like which is fine i mean uh, you don't have to think that you know your life that's the end of my life you know i, I have to work in a job that i hate so so if you feel that uh, life is too tough on you you know then maybe you need to figure out some alternate opportunities uh, for you know self employment or you know maybe do something in social media produce content and the more you do this the more you realize that you are able to uh, understand yourself and also stay true to your own nature okay so if you feel that uh, things are too tough on you then don't worry take a step back figure out what you actually want see your short term and your long term goals and act accordingly and i'm sure you will be able to perform very well so be inspired take inspiration from others and also do the hard work all right thank you pisces take care everyone